Hey guys, it's Kay coming at you again. And guess what? I've done it again. I found a great TV app for you all to enjoy. And of course, it's easy to get hold of. It's available on your Fire Stick TVs, your Android TVs, and even on my NVIDIA Shield TV. It's easy and quick to download from the Google Play Store and on Amazon devices, including the Fire TV Stick. It's available on the Amazon App Store, and I'll be showing you how to get hold of it later on in the video. So let's dive in straight away and see what it's got to offer. And remember, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now, off the bat, the first thing I love about this app is the fact that it's got a live TV section with an EPG guide and also a fully packed on-demand section where you can watch movies and TV shows at your leisure. Okay, let's get straight into the app features and the first thing you're going to see is the home screen and the first shelf on the home screen is this banner section where you're going to see the up and coming TV shows and movies and I think they've done a great job here. It's bold, it's colourful and it entices you into the content. And as you can see, there's lots of banners, which means there's lots of new content coming in. And you can select straight off the banner and go into more details and even watch the program. Or if you just want to have a quick glimpse of what it's about, just look at the trailer. And if you're not into doing that, you can of course look into the description of the program or TV show. We're getting tons of information here. And if it turns out this isn't your cup of tea, you even get a recommendation section below. So let's take a look at this program and see what kind of playback we get. And the results are in, it's pretty fast as you can see. And of course you would expect that being an official app. And if we skim through the program, you can see there's no lagging or stuttering. And even in the trailer playback, it's straight into the preview. Oh, so far so good. Now if you do like the movie or TV series you're currently watching, you get the option to add it to your favourites list. And the only downer to this is you need to create an account to use this feature. But let's be honest guys, the benefits of having a favourites list far outweigh the negatives of creating an account, which is barely going to take you a couple of minutes. Okay, now we've got that out of the way, next shelf down is from the minds of Momentu. And I'm confused as much as you about this heading. Maybe it's a favourites list of the app developers. Nevertheless, a lot of programs and TV shows here with a wide category and variety. You've got old and new and some programs you've heard of and some I've never even heard of. Which is definitely a good thing because you're not always going to be watching stuff you've seen before. And of course the great thing about this app is that you could end up watching anything with these recommendations below. So guys, that's a cool section where you can find stuff you might not normally watch. And pro tip, if you click on the more, you're going to get to view a whole load more of the programs in that category in a more digestible grid format. Okay, next shelf down off the home screen is Hidden Gems. And again here we've got a great selection. And if we click on the more button, we're going to get it all in a more viewable format. Next shelf down is Laughs Unlimited. So this is a great category for the whole family. And as you can see, we've got a lot to choose from here. And below that we've got Edge of Your Seed Teeth Grinders which definitely doesn't look family friendly. But if you like me and enjoy a bit of blood and guts, you're going to love this section, especially as we've got October coming up. And again, of course, we can take advantage of that more section. Now, if you do look closely, you can see that there's an Asian bias to some of these movies. Now, me personally, I love an Asian flick as they tend to be more original in their storyline and you're bound to get more of a thrill because of this. Now, the next shelf down is Stellar Notables. And again, there's quite a wide selection of old and new movies. And below that the shelf is Cowboy Theatre, which is one of my favourite categories, who loves a western. So guys, in this section you've got an unlimited supply of movies, as America made so many westerns, the app is worth it for just this section alone. And look here, we've got Bonanza with all the series and episodes. So we've got two seasons, each with around 20 plus episodes. That's quality classic TV at your fingertips guys. And if you take a closer look, you're going to see some great gems here, we've got Charles Bronson in the Chino, this full of lead and so on. I'm not going to linger too long in the western section guys, I'll leave you to look at it yourselves. Now the next section down is something called Crouching Tigers and Hidden Dragons. So of course this definitely sounds like an Asian category, going off the famous movie Crouching Tiger. So if you do like your kung fu, this is the one for you. And it's interesting to see here, we've got some Asian versions of some of the most popular western movies like Mission Impossible and Avalanche. Okay, moving along, we've got Guilty Pleasures rom-coms. Sounds a bit saucy, but it's pretty tame really. We've got Bachelors, Bright to Be, Love Addict. So next shelf down is Comedic Follies. Not sure why they don't just call it comedies. Maybe it's a nod to the classics. Now as you can see guys, even with the old classic movies, you get a good description, including cast, year and the movie's length. Now one thing which I think would have been useful is that when you go into the more section, it would have been great to have the total number of movies in that section. 
just gives it that more professional looking feel. Okay, next shelf down is in the line of duty. And of course, this definitely sounds like war movies, and it is. So again, we've got some old classics and some modern movies here. And anyway, guys, you show me someone who doesn't like a good old war movie, be it modern or new. Okay, moving on, next shelf down is Golden Age of Grit. And this looks like more westerns with a Mexican twist. Moving on swiftly, we've got Dramatic Intentions. Again, a mixture of Western and Eastern movies here as well. Next shelf down is Festival Favourites. And I'm guessing that these are TV shows and movies that won some kind of an award at a festival. So you're definitely guaranteed some quality entertainment in this one. Next up, we've got Black Cinema Gold. So as the name suggests, this one focuses on black acting. Definitely some gems to be had here, guys. Me personally, I'll be creating an account and adding some of these to my favourites list. Who could resist the Black Godfather? Okay, next shelf down is Silver Screen Classics. So this one is self-explanatory and probably one of the clearer category titles to understand. So guys, I'm going to quickly go through some of the other categories here and then show you the live TV section. This is the other side of the Pacific category. Next up is Criminal Masterminds. Again, self-explanatory. But I definitely have to show you this one. Crime Boss with Telly Savalas. One of my all-time favourite actors. Okay, swiftly moving on. Next category is Classic TV Shows. So of course you're going to get seasons and episodes with these. Next category down is Captivating Documentaries. And below that we've got Adrenaline Rush, Hot Thumping Action. And this is a funny category name if I ever saw one. Ebony Not Irony. It looks like it's black comedy. And these names just get even better. Movies that mess with your head. Now some would argue that most Asian movies do that anyway. Now the next category is also a mouthful. Mysterious Transgressions and Misdeeds. Next one down is The Silver Screen. And below that one, we've got White Knuckle Thrillers. Next category is The Black Experience. We've got Lost in Love, Guiding Light. And this one, I don't know what to make of, guys. Peculus Latinas. Make of this category what you will. Familiar faces. So arguably famous actors in these movies. Anyway, guys, let's go and have a look at the live TV section of this app. So if you head on over to the sub menu on the side, you can choose channels. And here you'll get all the channels, which have got thumbnails. And all these are live TV channels. And they got all categories. There's a featured section, music, sports, documentaries, channels from Africa, food and travel, news, comedy. And you just select the thumbnail of the channel you want to watch and it'll go straight into the live broadcast. Now clicking on the back button on your remote control will take you straight to the EPG guide for all the channels. And from here you can simply just scroll through all the channels at your leisure. As you scroll down you'll go through all the categories and you can see all the live channels as they're denoted with that live red sign. Now I counted the channels and there's over a hundred channels here in all different categories and genres. Similar to the categories in the on demand section. Now since I've created this video the app has actually been updated. And it is quite a different layout to what we have currently on this video. But the content is the same, give or take a few channels. So getting this app is very straightforward. Just go to your respective app store, be that on the Fire Stick TV or your Android TV. Now I'm on my Nvidia Shield, so I'm going to go over to my Google Play Store here. And at the search prompt, type in the following. M-O-M-E-T-U. So that is Mometu. Press the search button and it should be the first one that pops up. So as you can see, it's got a yellow thumbnail with a Mometu and a star on the end. Just click to install and it should take a few moments as it's not such a big program. And once it's complete, you should get the open button. Just click on it and you'll get the following splash screen followed by the home screen. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and do consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next one.